Hey everyone, in this quick demo I'll be showing you how to inherit lights from an upstream Gaffer 3 node so that you can make edits, uh, for example on a per shot basis. And this is a really useful workflow as it enables you to create your sequence lighting and then work your way down to camera angle or shot lighting. This is something that Katana does really well as you can work on an entire sequence at once making variations for different shots and it really helps to speed up your workflow. So in this scene, we have a Gaffer 3 for the sequence lighting setup. Um, if I bring up the parameters, you can see the lights there. So I'm going to place down another Gaffer 3 node underneath this one and click on the cog options icon and check the show incoming scene tick box. And now you should see all the lights that exist in the upstream Gaffer 3 node appear here. If you don't see any lights, then you need to make sure that the scene graph location is the same for both of your gaffer 3 nodes. And that's because this location is how you determine which gaffer to inherit from. Um, so you may have multiple upstream gaffer 3 nodes, and so you can use this scene graph location to determine which one you want to inherit from. Um, and it's really important to make sure that you're inheriting from the right one. So in this case, they're both located at root world light gaffer. Um, and if I were to change the location of either one of these, then the lights would disappear from the second gaffer three. And that would be expected as now the locations don't match. So this is quite a common mistake. So it's a really important thing to remember. So now we have our lights inherited into our downstream Gaffer 3 and uh, you can see that they're greyed out and displayed in italic and you won't be able to see their full parameters when you select them at this point. To be able to view their parameters and make adjustments, right click a light and select adopt for editing. And this lets you access the light parameters and make whatever changes you want. And you can also add more lights here as well. If you're using the lighting tools in the Hydra viewer, you can choose which Gaffer 3 to create lights under using the drop down. And this drop down will also tell you if you're able to edit a selected light uh, in the current Gaffer 3 selection. And there is a full breakdown of this in the lighting tools documentation online. So from here, you can easily create more Gaffer 3 nodes um, and plug them into a variable switch node to make changes to each shot or camera angle set up in your scene, all while inheriting the sequence lighting. And you can take this uh, one step further and use a variable enabled group, which lets you specify which variables you want to be affected by the nodes contained in this group. So you can add a Gaffer 3 node inside it to have even more control over individual variations in the scene. Uh, for example, in this case, we've made changes on a per camera angle basis and now using the variable enable group to make changes on a per shot basis as well. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. For more information on this topic, you can take a look at the core concepts course on the Learn Katana page, which covers multi-shot workflows in much more depth.